is in love with herself. Grey Wolf Studios. What's up, guys? It's me, Grey Wolf, again. Um, today, I got a little video for you guys. Um, sort of an unboxing video but I'm not really doing this uh, as an unboxing video because honestly I don't really like un unboxing videos and they're typically not that big a deal um, it's not so much an unboxing as it is I just I want to show you guys this product because it's a pretty cool product it's relatively inexpensive it's a uh, it's a cell checker voltage cell you know cell checker and yeah I know you know cell checkers are not the most exciting thing in the world, but this one is actually really cool. Um, let me just open it up here and get it out and show you guys. It, uh, it looks like it comes with a little instruction manual here. Some of the cool features, now, I first, well, let me, before I get into that, I'll, I'll just tell you the little story. When I, I first saw this the other day, on, well, a couple weeks ago, on, um, on uh, HobbyKing.com, and I pretty much know how to use this thing already because I watched Hobby King's little intro video they had that was highlighting their cell checker seven. That's what Hobby King calls theirs is a cell checker seven. Um, this really doesn't tell me anything I don't already know, so I'm just gonna set that aside. Um, so what ended up happening was I, I saw that on Hobby King's website at about I guess it was about nine thirty in the morning. And what ended up happening was I, I saw it and their little intro of it and I was like wow that's really cool it you know it has a lot of features for a cell checker and I was like I'm gonna buy one there I think the price point on Hobby King is about 1050 for one of these plus shipping uh, so I was gonna order one but I was at work, so I got busy and I got sidetracked. And by the time I got back around to it, it was around 3 p.m. And they went from having, I want to say, 27 of them in stock to being negative 12 in back orders. So I missed out my opportunity to get one from Hobby King. So what I ended up doing was hopping on eBay, and I was like, well, you know, maybe somebody bought half a dozen of them and. You know, maybe they threw them up on eBay hoping to, you know, capitalize on the situation, make a few extra bucks. Um, so I got on eBay, started poking around. And I didn't actually find any of the cell checker 7s, but as it turns out, you know, Hobby King is comprised of, you know, all Chinese parts. And like with any Chinese part, there's 12 other Chinese companies making basically the same part just with a different brand name on it and that's what this is this is this is technically the cell meter 7 so if you uh, if you go if you happen to go on eBay to try to find these uh, do a search for cell meter 7 you'll actually pull up a lot more results than you will uh, searching for cell checker 7 but cell checker 7 will will get you there in a roundabout sort of way that's what I originally typed in when I found these uh, this, it's, uh, this is identical in every way to the Cell Checker 7, other than it doesn't have Hobby King's logo on it. Just like all, you know, like I, like I said, just like all of the Chinese products, they're, they're all, they all use the same thing. So, anyway, I'm going to demo it here with my, uh, with my Genzace 4 cell, uh, 5000 milliamp 40C hard pack, uh, just gonna plug it in here. It does run off of the LiPo's power. So the first screen that pops up you'll see here is gives you a little bit of information. It gives you what the how you know the, the cell count of the battery up here in a little small. I know you can't read it on my shitty camera. I apologize. I'm I'm looking into getting better cameras for these videos. Um, so just bear with me. 
But anyway, it says 4S up here on the top in real small letters that you guys can't see. And then it gives the total voltage of the pack, which is 15.24. And it has a meter at the bottom. Now this, it's a percentage meter. And this percentage meter is supposed to tell you the percentage of battery power you have left. Now, this is a 14.8 volt pack charged to 15.24 volts, which is basically storage capacity. It's about 3.8 volts per cell. Um, so I don't know why, I don't know why if you guys see this, I don't know why this is reading 37% here at the bottom because there's a lot more than 30% of the total capacity of this LiPo left. Unless, the only thing I can think of is unless it's, they're going off of, uh, you know, they're, unless they've benchmarked 0% as like what you would normally consider to be a normal low voltage cutoff point, like maybe 3.2 volts per cell, then, you know, maybe that's why it's reading 37%. I'm, I, I'll have to check into that and see if I can find out more information on that. But at any rate, there's three buttons on here at the bottom. One says type, one says cell, and the last one says mode. And basically the type just switches between um, the various types of batteries that you can charge with the, or that you can check with this. Which is one of the things that makes this thing so cool. You can actually do not only lipos, but you can do... Um, lithium iron batteries you know the LIFE batteries and then you can also do the lithium ion batteries and it also even does uh, NICADs and uh, NIMHs the percentage thing though I read I saw in the instructions there where it said the percentage readout for NICAD and nickel metal hydride uh, is inaccurate and you can't go by that it, you, all you can do is simply check the voltage of the pack with those two particular types of batteries. But anyway, the, the type button just switches between the various types of, of batteries. The cell just simply switches between uh, the different cells. This is a four cell, so if I hit it, we see cell number one here is charged to 3.813. Cell two is 3.812. Uh, cell 3 is 3.805 and cell 4 is 3.815 and then if I hit it, it just cycles back to cell 1 again so um, now the mode button is kind of cool the first time you hit the mode button it basically gives you the amount the the biggest uh, variance in the pack which in this case happens to be 1 one hundredth of a volt and you can't really see it, but up at the top, the 3S and the 4S icons are lit up, which basically means the biggest variance in voltage happens between the, is happens to be between the third and the fourth cells of this pack. And the, the voltage difference is, is one one hundredth of a volt. So if we hit the mode, mode button again, it gives us the reading of the maximum uh, or the highest charge cell, which happens to be the fourth cell, it's showing up here at 3.815. And if we press it again, it'll show us the lowest one, which I screwed it up. I press it again, it shows the lowest one, which is the third cell at 3.805. So it's a total of one one hundredth of a bolt off. Pressing it again takes us back to the main menu and we're back to 15.24 volts so um, in a nutshell this is a really cool voltage checker um, if you're the type of person that likes to have a voltage checker handy um, I know I do I check my voltages uh, quite often when I'm out in the field especially and I'm wondering how much juice I have left on a pack um, this thing's really handy. It'll do up to seven cell uh, lithium batteries. Uh, and it seemed like there was something else I was going to point out about this, but I forget. Uh, anyway, up to seven cells that it does. Uh, it does NICADs and 
M I I can't even talk tonight in IMHs as well. Um, oh, the price point on this guy. Like I said, from the Hobby King, if you happen to get a Hobby King seven uh, cell checker seven, they I want to say they're around ten fifty plus shipping. Uh, I got this off of eBay for twelve forty nine shipped. Now it did ship from overseas, so it did take a um, week and a half, two weeks to get here, which is actually really quick for overseas shipping. Normally, most of my overseas shipping stuff I wait three or four weeks on. This one actually came pretty quick, though. Um, so, yeah, if you can't find them on Hobby King, um, and or you want to get it, to, you want to get one a little bit cheaper, you can probably hit up eBay and find one just a. a tad cheaper than Hobby King but I just wanted to let you guys know about this because to me it's a it's a pretty cool product kind of excited to get it and uh, you know who knows uh, some of you guys might be interested in this and if not then you're not but if you are then uh, hopefully I can introduce a couple people to Boulder Checker. So until next time peace I'm out